Ever wondered how investors predict market trends and make decisions? Chart patterns play a huge role in that, but what are they exactly? Well, chart patterns are like the fingerprints of the market. They're unique graphical representations of how the market behaves over time. And just like detectives use fingerprints to solve mysteries, investors use chart patterns to predict future market trends. Now, chart patterns aren't some magical crystal ball. They're based on hard data, statistics, and the collective psychological behavior of the market. They're tools that help investors make educated guesses about where the market might be heading. In this video, we'll unravel the mystery of chart patterns. We'll talk about what they are, the different types, how to read them, and we'll even go through some practical examples. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting your journey, there's something here for everyone. Stick around to decode the mystery of chart patterns and take the first step towards smarter investing. Chart patterns are graphical representations of price movements in a specific time frame. Now let's delve a little deeper into this concept. Chart patterns, in essence, are a way of putting a face to market sentiment. They're like a mirror reflecting the collective emotions of investors worldwide. These patterns can tell us whether the market is feeling bullish, bearish, or just undecided. They're formed by the price movements of a security and come in many shapes and sizes. From the humble line chart to the more complex candlestick charts, each pattern tells us a unique story about the market. Let's consider a simple analogy. Imagine chart patterns as footprints in the sand. Just as a tracker would analyze footprints to understand the behavior of an animal, investors analyze chart patterns to predict future price movements. Now why are these patterns so important? Well, chart patterns can be powerful tools for forecasting the future direction of prices. They can provide key insights into potential buying or selling opportunities. They're like the weather forecast of the financial market, guiding investors on when to take out their umbrellas or when to bask in the sunshine. But remember, while chart patterns can give us a sense of direction, they're not crystal balls. They don't guarantee future outcomes, but rather, they suggest probabilities. It's kind of like predicting the outcome of a football game. You can analyze the teams, know their strengths and weaknesses, but you can't predict the exact score. And just like any tool, chart patterns are most effective when used in conjunction with other technical analysis tools. They're part of a bigger toolbox that investors can leverage to make more informed decisions. So, are you ready to start your journey into the fascinating world of chart patterns? Do remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more investing insights. Understanding chart patterns is like learning a new language. It opens up a whole new world of opportunities. So let's keep decoding these patterns together one step at a time. Just like the diverse world of investing, chart patterns come in many types. And today we're going to dip our toes into this variety starting with the head and shoulders pattern. Picture a person standing in front of you. The head represents a peak, with the shoulders being smaller peaks on either side. This pattern often signals a reversal in trend, like a market top turning into a downturn. Next up, we have the double tops and bottoms. These patterns are like twins, two peaks or two troughs that occur at approximately the same price level. A double top is considered a bearish signal, indicating that the price may drop, while a double bottom is a bullish signal, suggesting the price may rise. Moving on to triangles. These patterns are formed when the price of an asset moves within a narrowing range. Picture a slice of pie. There are three types of triangles, ascending, descending, and symmetrical. Each type gives clues about the direction of the next price move. Last but not least, we have flags. Visualize a flag on a pole swaying in the wind. The pole represents a strong price move, while the flag, a period of consolidation, is typically slanted against the direction of the original price move. This pattern is usually followed by a continuation of the trend in the same direction as the pole. Now remember, these patterns don't always guarantee what's going to happen. They're tools, not crystal balls, but they can give you an edge, a way to read the market's mood and make more informed decisions. By the way, if you're finding this content helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've got more investing tips and tutorials coming your way. Now that you know the types of chart patterns, you're one step closer to deciphering the market trends. And that's a step worth taking, wouldn't you say? So, let's continue our journey. Before we dive into how to read these chart patterns, let's take a moment to understand why they are so important in the world of investing. Chart patterns provide a visual representation of trader sentiment. They allow investors to see the push and pull between buyers and sellers, offering insights into potential price movements. 
These patterns can help identify buying and selling opportunities, and when used correctly, can be a powerful tool for predicting future price trends. Moreover, they add an extra layer of depth to your market analysis, complementing other analytical methods like fundamental or technical analysis. Chart patterns are like the footprints of market psychology, signaling whether the market sentiment is bullish or bearish. So, understanding these patterns can give you a leg up in your investing game, helping you make more informed decisions and potentially increasing your chances of earning a profit. And that's why learning to read chart patterns is such a valuable skill for any investor. But remember, while chart patterns can be incredibly useful, they're not foolproof. They should always be used in conjunction with other tools and indicators and never as a standalone method for making trading decisions. Now let's move on to how to read these fascinating patterns. But before we do, a quick pause to remind you to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insightful content on investing. Now back to chart patterns. Reading chart patterns might seem daunting at first, but with practice, it becomes second nature. Now let's break down the process into simple, manageable steps. Step one is all about pattern identification. This is like a treasure hunt where the treasure is the pattern you're seeking. You're looking for shapes that repeat themselves. These could be triangles, rectangles, head and shoulders, or cup and handle patterns. These shapes are your clues to what's going on in the market. Next up, step two is understanding the implications of the patterns you've identified. Each pattern tells a different story about the potential future of the stock. For instance, a cup and handle pattern is a bullish signal, indicating that the prices may go up. On the flip side, a head and shoulders pattern is a bearish signal, hinting that prices may fall. Now on to step three, making investment decisions based on these patterns. This is where the rubber meets the road. You've identified a pattern, understood its implications, and now it's time to act. But remember, chart patterns are just one tool in your toolbox. Always consider them in the context of other market indicators and your overall investment strategy. It's important to note that not all patterns will play out as expected. Like any form of analysis, chart pattern reading isn't foolproof, but it's a powerful tool when used correctly. It can give you insights into market trends and investor sentiment that you wouldn't get from numerical data alone. And there's our fourth and final step, rinse and repeat. This isn't a one and done process. The more you practice, the better you'll get at recognizing and interpreting chart patterns, and the more confident you'll become in your investment decisions. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. Now, let's put theory into practice with some examples. Imagine you're looking at a chart and you see the price of a stock rising, forming a peak and then falling. This forms what we call a head and shoulders pattern. It's called this because if you squint your eyes, you can see a head, the highest peak, and two shoulders, the lower peaks on either side. This pattern often signals a reversal in trend, meaning the price of the stock is likely to fall. Now, let's consider another scenario. You see the price of a stock falling, then rising, and then falling again. This time, the pattern formed is known as a double bottom. It looks like a W, and often indicates that the price of the stock may soon rise. But remember, while these patterns can be a helpful tool, they're not a crystal ball. They can't predict the future with absolute certainty. So, here are a few tips to help you navigate the world of chart patterns more effectively. One, always consider the bigger picture. Don't just focus on the patterns. Look at other factors like the company's fundamentals or news about the industry. Two, practice makes perfect. The more you look at charts, the easier it will be to spot patterns. So, don't be discouraged if you don't see them right away. 3. Don't let emotions cloud your judgment. It's easy to get excited or scared when you see certain patterns, but it's important to stay calm and make decisions based on logic, not emotion. And 4. Always have a plan. Decide in advance what you will do if a certain pattern emerges. This will help you avoid making hasty decisions. Remember, these examples and tips are just a starting point. As you delve deeper into the world of investing, they will serve as your guiding light. But the most important thing is to keep learning, keep practicing and never stop asking questions. As you delve deeper into the world of investing, these examples and tips will serve as your guiding light. Well, that was a lot to take in, wasn't it? Let's quickly recap what we learned today. 
We started with a simple introduction to chart patterns, those visual representations of market trends that traders use as a secret weapon to predict future price movements. We then dove into the various types of chart patterns, from the bullish and bearish, to the reversal and continuation patterns. No chart is complete without knowing how to read it, so we walked you through the process, step by step, to help you understand what each pattern signifies. Lastly, we delved into some practical examples and tips to help you apply this knowledge in the real world. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't shy away from using these patterns in your investing journey. And that's a wrap on our beginner-friendly guide to chart patterns. Remember, every great investor was once a beginner. So keep learning, keep investing, and keep growing.